So, do you guys remember this? I am going to be a vegetarian for two months. Yeah, let's talk about how that went. It's meat. Whatever. What do I have to say about being a vegetarian for two months? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! I can't believe I tried to do this! Basically, um, it was a lot harder than I thought. Especially the, the two first weeks. Uh, every time I go by the street outside, there's this smell of chicken. And chicken is my favorite dish. So it's like... That was the first two weeks. The first two weeks were, was hard because of that. Um, and um, except for that, I guess that the hardest point was actually cooking. Uh, not cooking at home, because when I cook at home I don't cook meat. So um, it was cooking at work. Do you guys have any idea what it is to cook meat while being a vegetarian? Well, let's put it like this. It was hard not to fall into all habits. I usually taste the food I cook, so when I spill something, like a little piece of sausage or anything, I would just pick it up and put it in my mouth. And there was several times when I stopped right there, right there, and then I uh, 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 put it back or put it, throw it away or whatever. So that was hard. Also, I've had the experiences that you have as a vegetarian, that you go to a restaurant and everything looks fine, and you say, oh, I would like to order that. And then they say, oh, no, we don't have that. And then I say, okay, and you don't have many choices, so okay, I would like to have that. And then they say, oh, I was sorry, they don't have that, we don't have that either. And then you go, good. Okay, I'll just take that one, but without the meat, please. Not so cool. This is really good. There has also been a very um, positive sides of not eating meat. Um, for instance, <laughs> the horse scandal. Well, of course, that has been going on for a long while, but still. Uh, I'm pretty sure that all the things I ate didn't have horse in it because basically I didn't eat meat. So um, that's one good thing. One thing I've realized though is that I will never stop eating chicken because um, I just like it too damn much. So um, Jürgen, I'm very sorry but um, I will continue to eat you. When I cooked chicken at my work, it was the hardest thing. The first time was the hardest thing I've ever done. Smelling the... Oh, I don't know, it's like, oh, god damn it, I'm not gonna eat this thing. I'm actually cooking something that I like extremely much and I'm not eating it. So that was hard. One other thing that's good is that when we went to restaurants, um, I couldn't pick any of the dishes I usually pick, because I pick chicken, or I pick something with meat for once. And now I got the chance to try stuff that I've never tried before, because, oh, I can't pick anything of the things that I usually pick, so just pick anything, and oh, that looks good, that's fish, that's uh, whatever, um, vegetables. Oh, yeah, let's go with that one. Now that I can eat meat again, I think that... It's fine not to eat so much meat, and especially at restaurants, because at least when I cook myself I know what kind of meat it is, and I usually buy, like, bio biological, no, uh, organic, organic meat, and not, I don't eat meat very often, but when I buy meat usually it's good meat. To summarize it, it was hard, it was goddamn hard changing from doing something where you don't have to think about what you order, what whatever, to be um, conscious about everything. But I enjoyed it, and I can, now I kind of understand why vegetarians get so pissed from time to time 
about ordering food or going out to eat or and I think it's good. I think I should know those things because I have a lot of friends who are vegetarians. So maybe I'll do this again. But I don't think I'm gonna do it while cooking meat at work because that is that is just too hard. It's like a, more than you know a challenge then it's like it's like torture. Me no like torture. Torture not good. Torture very bad. Damn you meat. Die. No, thank you.